Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna go over a really cool feature in Google Sheets, and that's the ability to swap from one view to another. So in this example, I've got a list of stocks that I'm tracking. I've got all sorts of metrics on them. I've got their, pri got their prices, their percent changes, their market caps, their year to date performance, all these, all these fields in there. So as you can imagine, if I wanted to filter in and look, look at certain types of stocks, it may be a bit of a tedious process using that filter option. But I'm gonna show you how we can make this a whole lot easier. So right now I've got that filter enabled. So let's say I just wanna look at stocks that are on the New York Stock Exchange. So on this exchange column, I'm gonna select the option to just filter for stocks that are on the NYSE. Now I'm gonna hit okay. And now they're all selected. Now, if I go to the data menu here, there's an option to save as filter view. So I'm gonna click on that and type in NYSE stocks. Hit save, and now I've saved that view. I'm gonna X out of here, get rid of that filter, and now start over again. And so this time, let's say I wanna look at all the stocks that are up more than 5% today. So in the change field, I'm gonna select filter by condition, and say greater than 0.05, so I want 5%. But okay, now I've got the biggest movers of the day. Again, I'll go to the data tab, hit save as filter view, stocks up 5%, saved. Now again, let's X out of here. And now let's create a more comp complex filter, one that's filtering more than just one field. So let's say I want stocks that are on the New York Stock Exchange. So I've got those selected. Let's say I also want ones that are at least $100 or more than $100. So let's say greater than 100. And I wanna look at stocks that are up at least 20%. So for year to date performance, again, I'm gonna look at condition and greater than 0.2, 20%. Hit okay. And so now I've got New York Stock Exchange stocks, more than $100 and up over 20%. So now let's save this view as well. So save as filter view and NYSE stocks at least $100 and up 20%. Save that. And now I'm gonna X out of here as well. Turn off my filters. And now if I go to the data menu, there's an option to change my view. So as you can see, I've got those saved views on here. So if I just wanna look at New York Stock Exchange stocks, that filter is applied and we can see it's selected by, by that icon there. If I go to the data tab again, change my view to let's see, let's say stocks up 5%. Again, I see all the stocks, but this time just the ones that are over 5%. And switch again to NYC stocks that are at least $100 and up 20%. And I'm back to that. And you can see the filters that are applied, year to date performance, current price, and the exchange. So all those filters are reapplied. So it's saving the settings that you've applied and making it really easy for you to swap from one view to another. So you don't have to go through this whole process of you know exiting out of your views and then reapplying these filters and trying to remember, okay, we filtered by this and by this and by this. With Google Sheets, you can save those filter views and reuse them at, you know, at, uh, at your convenience. So if you wanna swap from one view to another view, you wanna look at dividend stocks, you wanna look at stocks that are trading near their lows, you wanna look at all sorts of different scenarios, you can save that setup and then reapply it when you, when you want to, making it easy to jump back and forth because Although it's not a, not a hard process to set up filters, if you've got a lot of them, it can be really, really tedious to remember exactly what you filtered by and how it should be set up. Now, if you wanna manage your filters or delete ones, you can go to the data menu again, and there's an option to delete all the views that you have. And you can also, um, when you select a view, let's say I don't need this one for the New York Stock Exchange stocks. I can select the option to delete this view or rename it, update the range if my range has changed or, or duplicate it. So let's say I don't need any more, I'm gonna delete it and it's gone. And now back to my views, I've just got the stocks that are up at least $100 and up 20% on the New York Stock Exchange and the stocks that are up over 5%. 
So as you can see, it's really simple to, to set these rules up and to manage them so that you've got multiple views at your disposable disposal and you don't have to run through the manual process of changing your views and constantly having to reapply filters. So hope you found this video useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.